One of the biggest areas of change in Surpac version 6 is to do with plotting. Um, in particular, autoplot. It's been enhanced to do a, a lot more things and make it a lot nicer to use. The first thing you'll notice is the big table on the, the right giving sheet sizes is now gone. Um, this has been replaced by this single label down here, which updates itself as you go and change page sizes to give you the minimum scale required to fit all the data that's currently in your graphics window. Um, so you just simply choose a scale and off you go. Notice over here it says that plan strips and batch sections are unavailable. Um, that's because you're not oh, I'm not currently in, in section mode and I'll show you that information in a, uh, a separate video. All the other inputs are the same. You can still choose your, your drawing area, your grid, your title block um, and various other information that way. One new feature though is this legends tab. Um, this will automatically create you a legend on your plot um, of all of the, the data that's currently in your plot. Um, so if I just leave it at the default settings, say I want a legend for this particular string, where you want it on the, the plot, um, the number of rows, etc. and apply that form. Now you'll see on this um, selection box you now have the, the title block uh, displayed in the, the box. And this is the area that your, your legend is going to be displayed. So if I just center that up a little bit so that it's a little nicer, I then hit apply, give it the grid spacing, and out comes my plot. Um, you'll notice down in the bottom corner here, we've got a legend. Now each one of these boxes is actually showing the line style that's drawn. So if you drew one of these lines in graphics as a dotted line, it would appear as a dotted line in the, the legend view. Um, and that's really all there is to do with, with legends. It works for um, all of the, the string data that's currently in graphics.